I'm going to show you about image sprite animation. So how do you get some image that you bring in? And you got to put it into a canvas. And it's called an image sprite, not an image. And that means it can move. How do you get it to move over time? All right, now clocks, yeah, you know, they have timers. And that you can animate stuff with a clock component and its timer. But image sprites have their own kind of clock inside them. And they've got settings that, that let you animate. Okay, so right now, my image sprite is disabled. Okay, it's just sitting there. If I enable it right away, you know, when I make a change here, my emulator is going to test my new app. When I enable it, we should see this guy move to the right, and it should move at 10 pixels per 100 milliseconds. Okay, and I'll tell you about what the heading is in a second. But let me click on enabled. We should see this sprite move, animate to the right. Okay. Um, now, the way the heading works is let me just show you this diagram real quick. Zero is to the right, 90 is up, 180 left, 270 is down, and, and everything in between. Okay, so for instance, if I change this heading to 270, we should see the guy move down um, when that changes. So I just change it to 270, should update the whole app, and there it goes. Now it's going down. And of course, I can change the, the speed or the interval to, you know, really speed is distance per interval. It's, it's kind of renamed, but this means I'm going to go 10 pixels per 100 milliseconds. Okay, what I really want to show you is how do you do, you know, like for a game, how do you animate on the fly dynamically? And you got to use blocks, of course, to, to, to do that. You know, what I just did here in the designer is just kind of to, to play around with it. But how do you make objects, you know, start moving when, when the game gets going or stop it or whatever? Okay, so I'm going to start my um, image sprite is disabled. Okay, and notice I've got this button start moving. Okay, it's kind of dumb, but in a real game, all kinds of stuff could trigger trigger movement. We're going to say, but when when I click this button, I want to move this object. Okay, so let's go to the blocks, and I'm just going to grab a start button dot click, and essentially what I want to do is kind of change the same properties that I was just changing, but do it with blocks. So I'm going to grab image sprite. And if I move down, I can see all of its properties, right? So I'm going to change its heading. Um, I'm going to change its enabled property. Otherwise, it won't do anything, right? Um, so let me grab the enabled property. Okay, so there's the enabled property, and I'm just going to, just to make it a little easier, I'm going to copy it, Command-C, Command-V, and notice I can change which property I'm dealing with, and I want to change the, um, let's see, I've enabled, I have heading, and I want to change the interval. Okay, so um, let's change the heading to something we haven't done yet, so let's change it to the number 90. Okay, so I'll grab a number block and make it 90. Okay, enabled certainly needs to be true. All right. Um, interval can be uh, whatever we want it to be. Let's just change it to uh, 50. So every 50 milliseconds, some movement will happen. Okay. And then we'll add one more, and I'm going to set the speed. Okay. And, and remember, the speed is really kind of the the distance. Okay. And so let's just say we're going to move. I don't know, 20 pixels every 50 milliseconds. Okay. And I'm going to set it to enabled, so something's actually going to start to happen once I click on the button. So once I click on the button, we should see this guy move at 90 degrees, okay, and 20 pixels per 50 milliseconds. So I'm going to click on Start Moving, and 90 is straight up, right? So it got to the top edge and stopped, okay? Uh, let's change the heading uh, back to, I don't know, to 180, okay? And let's click again. And notice it went to the left this time, right? So anyway, that's that's kind of how how it works and how at runtime with your blocks you can make this this animation happen.